16 hours over land and still going strong. Ida is now a tropical storm, though it hit as a strong Category 4 hurricane, damaging large sections of Louisiana. The threats there and elsewhere are not over. Flooding is a real fear. At least one person has died in the storm. And New Orleans is almost entirely in the dark. Leaders say the whole city is without power. They're telling people to shelter in place overnight into this morning. And we have team coverage beginning with a look at the damage with News 8's Hannah Mordeaux. The wind is the big headline here. Yeah, and just the last hour, we're getting reports of the wind ripping off a roof, part of it, and then shattering windows at area hospitals in Louisiana, forcing staff to move dozens of patients. And take a look at this video from inside the eye wall in Port Fusion. You can see just how strong the wind is. It is just battling, hitting what looks to be a dock in this area with sustained winds of 100. 50 miles per hour at landfall. Ida is a stronger and was a stronger hurricane when it hit than Katrina. Now the storm is slowing down, but it's increasing the flooding potential. Plus, reports of damage and injuries are just starting to come in. The water is rising. Um, people are in their homes, and we're getting reports of, of people with water up to their chest. They're asking to be rescued. Our whole bridge was taken out. Our, our levees were top. They had the school system, the government buildings, and hundreds of homes. That, that's never happened before. And uh, all the outside areas were, were just hit so hard. And that was the mayor of Jean Lafitte describing the devastation. In Golden Meadow, you can see down trees, down power lines, uh, buildings that are just destroyed, debris scattered with flooded streets. It was a fallen tree that the Ascension Parish Sheriff's Office says killed a person in the suburb of Baton Rouge. The wind so strong, you can see in humid there that a McDonald's sign is just a mess of twisted metal now. In New Orleans, the mayor says the plant that provides power to the city is compromised. There's no power and it's a dangerous situation. And in just the last two hours, the New Orleans 911 service says they're experiencing technical difficulties too. So people are having a hard time even reaching help. This is the time to continue to remain in your safe places. Not a time to venture out throughout our city at all. It's unsafe. We haven't seen anything like that since Katrina. And, uh, and the massive uh, destruction of buildings, um, you know, down in Grand Isle, not only the tidal surge, but so many businesses destroyed from the wind as well. I can tell you for several days, uh, we're going to be engaged in search and rescue, both the primary search, the secondary searches and, and so forth. And it, we're, we're going to be in this for the long haul. Governor John Bell Edwards also tweeted, I have received word tonight that POTUS has approved my request for, presi for a presidential major disaster declaration due to the severe impacts of Hurricane Ida. So the president is pledging federal assistance to help get the Gulf Coast and region back on its feet after what has certainly been a bad storm. Still a lot unfolding with this. I'll bring you the latest next hour. Back yeah, to you. Yeah.